at about 7.45, I found myself at the Don Bosco Youth Center within my district where I went to exercise along with some young people. I had a chance to play basketball. And after then, I played soccer and I scored one goal. If you want evidence of this statement that I just gave you, go on Facebook, go on my page, you will see my goal, I score and the celebration I give. That is a sign to tell you that I'm back and I'm back for back. good. To the peace-loving people of Electoral District Number 9, I appreciate you so much. I must tell you thank you on behalf of me and my family from the depth of my heart. I want to tell you thank you for praying for me. There is no man that can boast and say I am the reason why Muna is back. The only person that can celebrate in heaven is the angels and Jesus and God who have given me another chance to be back. But I say thank you to you because in your closet, in your rooms, yes. on your bed, on your knees, you were crying on behalf of me. Yes. I say thank you to you. Yes. The people of Electoral District Number 9, God has blessed me with you. Yes. God has blessed me to be your leader. Yes. And because I'm your leader, you have stood by me over yes. the years. I want to say thank you, my people. And I also want to send a message within Electoral District Number 9, there is no vacancy. As far as I am concerned in Electoral District Number 9, we do not have opponents. The people who come into the elections to contest against me are considered my mentee. I am their mentor. In a simple English, they are my students and I am their professor. The only time we will give you a report card and tell you you have passed to the next class if we are convinced that what we are teaching you, you have taken it well. But as I listen to radio every day, it makes me to understand that my students are not learning enough. I listen to one of my students on the radio asking the Liberian people to take me from the parliament because the labor law says so. The labor law, again, my student, let me say to you, the labor law is for civil seven, and I'm not a civil seven. I told you before, it's a simple law, law 101. You sat in my class, I educated you, I wasted my time, you don't want to learn, but you want me to turn state power to you. So I'm saying to you, when the school year end, we'll put you in study class, we cannot promote you, we'll send you to summer school. So politically, I'm sending a message that if you are not prepared, I will not give you state power. Speak, Senator. Speak, Senator. But I say to the people of Electoral District Number 9, as the chair on executive, I am concentrating on the president's preparation to address the nation on the 27th. Bear with me. The people of Electoral District Number 9, bear with me. Let me carry on my legislative duty in preparing to host the president on next week, Monday. So, when the president has addressed the nation, giving his annual report, then I, Honorable Muna E. Pelham Youngblood, will report to the people of Electoral District Number 9. Let nobody tell you that the madam is here and she has not given us report. Yes. When they bring that debate in the intellectual center, tell them the madam is carrying on legislative duty. When she's done, she will report to us. I am answerable. I am questionable yes. to the people of Electoral District Number 9. Yes. The position I hold today is not my right, it's a privilege. Yes. And the privilege is given to me by you. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for standing by me. Sam. Thank you so much for believing me. Sam. Thank you so much for standing by me. Thank you too. I have a pillow, and my pillow is the people of Electoral District Number 9. Yes. Yes. Few months from now, 
the nation will be hitting another election. Yes. 2020 October. Yeah. Let it be known that Montserrado County will not be a child place anymore. Yeah. I am sending the message. It broke my heart when I lied in my hospital bed and I saw rats were running around when the cat were lying in my The wild wolf. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. When I see yeah. you, you're not yes. supposed to yeah. be to the place you will be. I am the cat. I have returned. I will eat you all. Kamara. He spoke to the press and he told the press Abu is not in the same league with him. Uh -huh. I stand with you, Mr. Delon. Uh -huh. I agree with you uh -huh. that you and Abu is not in the same league uh -huh. because I'm a witness to Abu graduating from high school. Uh -huh. You are not in the same league with Abu, Mr. Delon. I agree with you 110 percent. Yes. Because Abu has a wire certificate, bring yours. So, it is true that you are not in the same league with him. Because to enter Abu League, you must have wire certificate. You must have high school diploma. You must show me your high school teacher. And you must show me your classmates. I send an open debate to the senator of Montserrado County. Show me these four things and I will consider you in the league of Abu Kamara. Show, show, but until yeah. then, I agree with you. You're not in the same league. Mm -hmm. yes. And because you're not in the same league with Abu, you know you can be in the same league with me because I hold a master's in the So I'm sending an open fight on behalf of the Trapata arrangement, the coalition for democratic change, the conglomeration of political parties that are ruling this country. So, we are getting ready for you. South. And for me, I'm not getting. I I'm am ready. ready. The people of Montserrado County, let me say to you, I sat in my hospital bed and I saw the result of the elections. You gave us a protested vote. Montserrado County seditions, you were angry. You did not go to vote. I have come back to Liberia to ask you seditions. Whatever your party have done to you, I stand as a party steward to say, let's go back under the Sakomo tree. Yeah. Let's go back and talk and talk. Let's go back and talk our political talk. Seditions, let us go back to our party headquarters under the Sakomo tree and reconcile our differences. Because 2020, Montserrado County, we will not give it to strangers. We will not give it to third grade and high school dropout. You will remain few months, Senator, I can assure you. You will not be elected again because I am here. Even if I am not on the ticket, intellectually, I will go to the 15 positions to push the argument. Why a Tom or a Jerry who will wake up every morning on Facebook Live, not understanding the war is senator, not understanding that you have hit the highest seat in the land as the elder and you are jumping with people to protest. And the constitution gave you as a senator the power that whatever you say in your chambers, you will never be held liable. You did not use that power the constitution gave you. You reduce our senatorial seat to a mere little ball, guiding a hero that can run away before the game ends. My people, my people of Montserrado County, we 
we cannot make that mistake again. Listen, I plead with you, whatever the differences are, I will visit you in your community for us to settle the differences. But that vote that you gave was a protested vote. You told me by your vote that you are angry. And so I will come to you to talk about your anger. We will reconcile our differences and we will take seats of this county. This county demands maturity because this is the political capital. This is where the presidency sits. And you cannot take a lay boy that will wake up every morning on messenger, gallivanting all over the place like a clown, and not knowing that he holds our highest position. As my senator, you are representing an intellectual like me, and you get on the radio and you cannot even represent me adequately intellectually. So baffled. People of Montserrat County, you know this county have never been given to jokers what have you done i've come to plead with you i have come to plead with you the county have never gotten in the hands of jokers they have so rest in peace the female gladiator gerald and those sheriff when she mom the puppet you listen to grammar and logic why turn this county over to little boys that will be protesting around the place while they are sitting in the higher seat please Tell your friends in the other areas as you're listening to me. I will visit you in District 13. I will visit you in District 12. I will visit you in District 1. I will visit you through the length and breadth of this political county. And I will be speaking to your consciousness. And the reason why I will be telling you what I will be telling you because I'm a pioneer of this county. I was born in Lokin Town. I grew up in New Crew Town. I went to school in Gardnersville. I became representative in Sinko. I have my business in Central Morovia. And I run things in rural Liberia. This is the reason why I will be pleading with you because I understand the county, the needs of this county. I hear say the senator gave twelve thousand dollars because he promised that he was going to take money from his salary. Accountability honor the law of the state the superintendent is the administrator of the county if you have money for the people of Montserrat county you didn't give it to their administrator you gave it to your friend's wife <laughs> one mistress fine Amanda. and then you come back to tell us the money is for the county i have opened the debate if you say that twelve thousand is for the people of, of Montserrat county then give it to the superintendent that represent our county officially constitutionally don't give it to your friends and come and make name on the people of Montserrat county i represent the people of district number nine the people of district number nine is telling you mr delon take the money and give it to the superintendent when she use it she use it constitutionally because she is the administrator she spends every penny that is responsible for the county to be dispersed. Thank you, Mama. Who do we account for if we are asking for check and balance for that 12,000? Will we go to your friends that you are giving it to? Well protected. People of Montserrat County, we will dialogue. Sure. We will find a common ground. Sure. And the county will be protected once more. Yes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we happen to be back home. Long live the coalition. The people of Electoral District Number Nine. And long live His Excellency George Manebakwe.